The federal government, in collaboration with the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, and other partners, has renewed its commitment to strengthening the social protection system in order to address pressing issues of poverty. This commitment was made at the third edition of the Social Protection Cross Learning Summit held in Abuja. UNICEF's representative in Nigeria, Christian Mondwait, spoke on behalf of the Social Protection Development Partners Group and emphasized that social protection is crucial for realizing the rights of every child. She noted that child sensitive social protection is key to ensuring that every child reaches their full potential. However, Mundraid acknowledged that despite advancements, social protection coverage remains low, with only 7% of children currently covered. To address these challenges, the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of Economy, Mr. Wali Edun, explained that the federal government has introduced a cash transfer program. This program provides 25,000 naira for over a three month period to poor and vulnerable households with the aim of alleviating immediate economic pressures and mitigating the socio-economic impact of recent economic reforms. Our investments have been directed towards developing robust policy and legal frameworks, designing and implementing effective cash transfers and social insurance programs, and advocating for comprehensive social protection systems, both contributory and non-contributory, that cater the needs of all children, and that make sure that all children are included. We commend the government of Nigeria for the significant strides made in this domain. The adoption, for example, of the national social protection policy, the development of a single registry, and the adoption of the National Health Insurance Authority Act can help reach better and more effective the vulnerable people of uh, Nigeria. There is an emphasis on stimulating growth because it's when you encourage investment that creates productivity, that grows the economy, that you can create jobs and reduce uh, poverty, which is the overall aim of Mr. President's whole program. Well, key amongst that, as has been mentioned here, is to strengthen social protection, particularly as the policies that were necessary to get the economy on the right track, to get the economy growing again, came with um, pain, inconvenience, and um, like many other places in the world, um, stress in terms of cost of living. And so the social protection um, was a key element of the program. It wasn't just a macroeconomic reform program by itself. Side by side was the social intervention program. And that's why from the start, with the help of the World Bank, together with our own resources, um, $1.2 billion in total, $800 million from the World Bank, $400 million from the government's own resources has been lined up for direct payment.